it goes from verse 18 here ye therefore the parable of the sower when any or when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart this is he which received seed by the wayside but he that received the seed into stony places the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receiveth it he yet uh, hath he not root him in himself but dureth for a while for when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. You know, this is the parable of the seed that fell into different categories of soil. And we are able to actually see what soil Christ was talking about. And even tonight, there was that seed that fell by the wayside, you know, and Jesus is talking about lacking understanding. You know, at many times, the word of God is broken to us. And sometimes it comes to us and we're feeling like, I'm in a chemistry class. Am I even understanding this? You know, sometimes you're feeling because perhaps there is the hardness of heart. It is not able to receive the word of God. It is not able to understand. Just like sometimes you might be in a class and the teacher goes on and on and on. The lecturer goes on and on and on. And it's just going into one ear and out into another. Because the eyes of understanding have not yet been opened. So my prayer is for us that in case we are in that category, that we will be able to ask the Lord that he would break down his word into our spirit. Sometimes when you spend that quiet moment, even in the wee of the night, and you are reading the word of God, sometimes that understanding comes. But you can read the word of God even on your phone. You can read the word of God and make it a priority in such a way that it continues to minister to you. Because this word is a sharper than a two-edged sword. Think of it. When our, 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 our knives back at home, they have run out of sharpness. We call that person who comes in and he begins to make it sharper. You know, that is the same way that the word of God, when it abides in us, when it bears fruit in us, it will grow and it will definitely germinate and it will become a living word. Not just word that we see and we read like a newspaper, but word that truly comes and captures the essence of our hearts. And it is able to, by the way, change even our minds. It's able to question our intentions. It's able to correct you before you make that utterance, which is not godly. That is the word of the Lord. Therefore, there are some that fell on stony places. This is a person who receives word with joy, but when tribulation or persecution comes, they are offended. These are the kind who even go as far as asking, God, where are you? Questioning his, uh, his, his allegiance to God. Kama uli nipenda, ungeniacha ni pambane hivi vinye na pambana. Where are you? This ship is sinking. You know, my company is going under these kinds of things because we are just those Christians who receive the word full of joy. Hey, Pastor Liubiri, where? Hey. But as soon as now our faith is put to the test, that is when we even question God. But Job was another interesting man because he did not question God. He did not, even though his wife asked him to cast God and die, he did not go there. Now, among the thorns, these are those whose uh, seeds, the, the kind of soil where the cares of this world the deceitfulness of riches. And here, Christ is very categorical that there is actually some deceitfulness around riches. The things that you see, the things that money can buy, the things that you feel like you can actually acquire, even a whole island, it is very deceitful. It can actually deceive. So when you are such a Christian, these cares of the world, you know, the money, you're thinking about your money throughout and throughout. This can actually come and choke the word so that it lacks room in you. Why? Because when the word finds room in you, it will grow. It will outgrow those things. It will 
In fact, the word will grow bigger and stronger and remove those things that we are calling the cares of this world. Therefore, what kind of soil am I? What kind of soil am I? And may we be the good ground which hears the word and understands it. You remember that seed that fell on the wayside? Understanding was not part of it. But this time around, there is some understanding. We bear fruit and we bring forth some an hundredfold, 60, 30. This is somebody who listens to the word and he actually meditates upon it. He goes and does what the word says that they should do. He goes and, you know, does what the word directs them. And this person brings back a result. This person does not just stay the same way, but their life will never be the same again. Even the people that they encounter, they change on account of who they are in Christ. And I know there's so many things that preach to us from sunrise to sunset, media being one of them, that try to make you conform to the patterns of this world. However, when the word of God gains prominence in your life, you will realize that you will become fruitful. You will have understanding. And there is no, uh, there's not a, 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 such a good thing as walking in insight. Having the word of God around you, it helps you. You know, when you're faced even with a social dilemma, the word of God just springs up in front of you and you're able to make a great decision. This is what we need for our leaders, even in this country. This is what we need for our parents. This is what we need for children. And this is definitely what we need for the church. And that is the word of God that we can chew on this evening and ask the Lord that he may make us to be the good soil and not the one that was uh, carried away by the chalks and the cares of this world, not the one where there's lack of understanding. And we will be able to be fruitful and we will bear much fruit.